Hello, this is Hiromi from Aging Gracefully. I'm at the airport in Halifax heading back home, but my flight to Ottawa just announced delay. So to, to keep myself calm at the airport, I'm going to do some stretch. Let's go find some space where I can stretch my legs. Okay, nobody here. I found the perfect spot. Make sure your shoes are clean. So let's stretch from hamstrings and calf. The other leg, bend knee, step back. You can open front of the hip. Okay, this is a really good way to stretch the iliac and hip flexors and sores. Now let's change the one leg straight for hamstrings and calf, the other leg is for front of the hip. And don't forget to breathe out, you can really relax while you are breathing out. Exhale deeply, listen to your breath. Now hips can be really tight. Relax your spine. And the straight leg, I'm going to bend straight leg in front. So foot is moving away from the center. This is a really good stretch a tight hip. So enjoy the stretch around glute, gluteus minimus and medius. They are very important to stabilize their pelvis and hip joints. Okay, switch to the other side. So your front foot is slightly off from the center line. And you can shake your back foot to relax around the hip joint. Now don't forget if you can open front knee all the way down to the seat. Just to be patient. Listen to your hip joint. And try to bend over from hip joint instead of lower back. Okay, now let's stretch upper body. Wearing so many layers of winter jackets and carrying a bag can cause tight shoulders. So just a little twist. Open your chest. Roll your shoulders back. Now inner thigh stretch. And massage half if you wish and keep your toes straight up to the ceiling deeper calf stretch will lead to a deeper inner thigh stretch so again you can move your upper body anywhere you like personally i like to twist my upper body to feel deeper stretch lots of toxins can be blocked around inner thighs and also uh, the groin area, especially if you're sitting for a long time. Now, just to be careful when you twist your body, gently squeezing obliques and some part of back muscles. Now open your chest, reaching back. Uh, you feel deeper stretch if you keep your thumb up and if you put your thumb down we attend to roll shoulders in and tighten our chest and shoulder so make sure anywhere you like you can put your hand but try to keep your thumb up try to stretch from beginning of collarbone feels so good and keep breathing out 
Uh, figure four pose. Often I use this figure four pose, but I like to lean towards about 45 degrees off from center. This is where I can feel deeper stretch for my tight glutes and hip joints. But you can experiment, experiment okay, any, any direction you like. And I also like to flex my foot. Just a little twist again, lengthening your spine. Now switch. Again, remember to bend from hip joints instead of lower back. Okay, hip joints. Okay, both sides of your pelvis. Just listen to your body. Just keep feeling inside out. And lengthen your spine again. Less stress for hip joints. Okay, final stretch is foot rotations. Now stay away from back of chair so you can actually do an abs exercise. The range of motion of ankles are very important to keep lower back soft and flexible. So I'm always taking care of my foot. And I sense slow and controlled both directions. So you can do this exercise, stretch anywhere you can. Okay, well done everyone. Okay, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for visiting Aging Gracefully with Hiromi.